Tonight in Finneytown, a special dedication to three teenagers among 11 people killed trying to get into a concert at Old Riverfront Coliseum back in December of 1979. But proof tonight, those young lives lost will never be forgotten by their Finneytown High School classmates. We can't bring them home, but this is as close to bringing them home as we can get. For 36 years, the Finneytown community has tried to push past the pain of one tragic night when three of their own were killed at the Who concert. Rather than allowing that to be the final chapter of their lives here on earth is that we are going ahead and uh, we're building three dreams. So, you know, our mantra is to preserve three memories and build three dreams. Friends have worked hard to make sure Stephen Preston, Karen Morrison, and Jackie Eckerley will never be forgotten, along with a garden and bench outside the high school. Tonight, the unveiling of three plaques in their honor. So they have each of their names, their class years, uh, and then the picture that was on the 1980 Rolling Stone cover uh, with their likeness. I think it's important, number one, that we always remember their, their laugh, their candor, how fun they always were to hang out with. And tonight was also a special fundraiser in honor of their friends. What we're doing is we're providing three scholarships uh, each year in the name of our friends to uh, Finneytown seniors that are pursuing a secondary uh, education in, in, in the arts. It could be a minor or major. Now, on this past Thursday, a promise fulfilled by Mayor John Cranley. A permanent marker was placed at the site of the tragedy with the names and ages of all 11 people killed that tragic night back in December of 1979.